Was it because there was a Sarah Knight, that wasn't there, down at the... Uh, yeah, that, that, that went well, yeah, we were surprised by that. Cause... But did, did you get loads of uh, key and entrepreneurial types down there anxious to... Uh, uh, snap up the bar. Uh, there was a lot of sort of older looking people hanging around the bar. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's mainly me. Apart from you. But uh, whether they were actually there in any. Uh, well, I suppose they wouldn't capacity, talk to yeah. us, maybe, so we, we'd be the last people to know. But I suppose yeah. they're trying yeah. to spirit them away from one day. And, yeah. and, uh, so you must be coming up. Am I right in thinking that Sarah 100 is not very far uh, um, away? Have you, have you reached that? Yet? I have think it? we scheduled it for August last night. We were having a. Yes, yeah, so it, it's, it's the most asked question at the moment. Is what is Sarah 100? All right. Okay, there was a great. I remember the excitement over Sarah 50. And also the, the, the suggestion at the time that you were going to knock it on the head at 50. Is that, was yeah, there, was a, there was a lot of people hoping, but uh, we yeah, carried on. Yeah, I think on. we started that rumour because I remember someone from the distribution company saying, what are you going to do for 50? And we were going, no, we were going to stop, actually. But no, 50 was a board game. And uh, are, you, are, you, are you prepared to reveal what 100 is going to be, or is uh, it an uh, exciting secret? You don't, ha you don't have to, I, don't no, I, I feel there's any element of compulsion. I think it's an exciting secret at the moment. Right, it's, yes. it's better that way, I think. Right, so what, what, uh, what product, as we in the record industry call music, uh, have, you got, <laughs> <laughs> have you got coming up? Uh, the next thing's an East River Pipe album. Sorry. Sorry, you know, I just said a half for that, apparently, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was interested in that. I was, uh, I don't think it's worth bringing up right now. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were stuck and you couldn't remember. Um, it's a new Stripper Pipe album, it's the next thing. A new mini album on May the 22nd, yeah. which we were hoping to bring you an exciting white label of, but they're late, so we oh. haven't got one. All oh, right, because I occasionally get letters from him and things like that. Has he ever been over here? Have you ever met him? He, he refuses to leave New York. Uh, well, he no. refuses to leave Queens in New I York. Think really, I think we've now both spoken to him on the phone once. I rang up once and he actually called Squint and he picked the phone up and I was kind of thrilled by this. Cause I thought, <laughs> wow, he actually wants to speak to me. So he's, he's a trifle reclusive. Yeah. Yeah, well, so I don't blame him for that, actually. How do you respond to the fact that, uh, I mean, does it sort of spur you on, the fact that Sarah Records does get the mickey taken out of it quite a bit, and re reviews always start off with sort of, with words like limp and pale and stuff, don't they? I mean, they've always had that. Does that encourage you to continue, or do you <laughs> ignore it, or does it depress you? It's... It's wearing a bit thin, I suppose. I should have thought it was wearing a <laughs> yeah. it, it depresses us because it means, obviously, we don't sell as many records as we could sell because people don't take it seriously as a record label because we get this criticism the whole time. But then you also, the other side of that is that you have this kind of cult following, in a sense, where people would buy anything on sale. I think we've lost that a bit. Obviously, when you start out, you have that, but any label just starting out... We'd Has sold a, copies yeah. of Sarah 100 about 18 months ago yeah, and kind of went through really. the 90s as well I, before we had the slightest idea almost, what they were. I think we've almost yeah. been around too long now to sort of maintain that to us. Well, I hope you keep going. I take heart from your <laughs> continued activities. I mean, I don't like everything that you put out. It's always in madness to claim that I did. But at the same time, it always encourages me to know that you're throbbing away <laughs> <laughs> down here. Uh, I've got a note which which uh, I, I, I got at that uh, gig that we went to with, uh, well, Flying Saucer Attack, actually, yeah. whose record I have on the, not on the turntable, whatever it is that a CD machine has, uh, but from somebody who, described, Catherine, who describes herself as a friend and kitchen fairy of uh, Sarah <laughs> Records. Yeah, uh, yeah we feel we to apologise for, for her. But no, she, no, she's <laughs> most yeah, amiable. Yeah. She, she, she comes down and cleans our house occasionally. It's I does, yeah, from so Glasgow. Oh, I see. That's oh, interesting. Well, she insisted on hugging me and uh, said that the uh, the only other person she'd got left now on her list of people that she wanted to hug was, uh, um, you know, Hannibal Lecter, whatever he's called Anthony. <laughs> 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 David Gedge is done that. Oh, David Gedge as well, that's true, actually, yeah. yes. Okay. Well, listen, because uh, there are so many people lined up in the waiting room downstairs, it is rather dental all of this, isn't it? It's, uh, it does have a kind of feeling of uh, the dentist will see you now. Now, but uh, you haven't got any hot new records for me to play at all. I mean, we've brought the most recent things, but you've already played the Shelley single. Oh, right. Played once. <laughs> we've got a copy of that with us. OK, you, well, I'll, 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 uh, I'll take those off you then, because yeah. obviously they'll, I can always sell them if the worst comes to the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, instead of <laughs> so, so completely ignoring the uh, Sarah Records catalogue, uh, here's the first track from Flying Sword.